Hey guys, Darth Celestian here, and today I am back on the Unremarkables SMP. Now, you might be wondering where I've been the past few days. Well, Saturday I went to a Comic Con in a city close to my home, which kind of started at 10.30, so I wasn't home around 1 o'clock when I would have normally streamed. And with Monday, well, I got a bit distracted on here talking to Maya and Icarus and ended up completely like forgetting about the time. By the time I realized, it was a bit too late. Uh... But yeah, apart from that, <laughs> not really much is going on other than going to Comic-Con. So, you might be wondering, Darth, we're not in the usual facing towards the camera position. And that is because I have a new skin. Now, you might have know the skin I've been wearing recently is this one. With my flags, and obviously my <laughs> top, how that is. And obviously with it now being October, I've decided to slowly migrate my account into the spooky phase. Darth Celestian will be the next one to get a spooky touch-up. But first, it was my Minecraft skin. <laughs> the t-shirt is not the best, I'm probably going to go into index and do some work on that. Maybe tonight, maybe tomorrow night, depends how I feel. Yeah, instead of the flag, it's now more like Halloween colors, orange and <laughs> black. I left the shorts and boots alone because I didn't know what to do with them. Obviously, I went a bit into character lore with the skin, giving Aurora the hero brown eyes. And a little blood under the eye just for added effect. <laughs> Speaking of hero brown. There's one thing I've recently done, one of my new rooms that I can actually show you. Uh, here it is. So here's the main armor set. Herobrine's helmet. Enchanted Herobrine's chest plate. Icarus is going to try and look into a way to get mending on these because... Yeah. <laughs> and Herobrine's boots and one of his swords. Then over here... You may recognize my very lovely Featherite. Now, seeing this, you might be thinking, wait, Darth, if your Featherite armor is there, what armor are you actually wearing? Well, oh, <laughs> I am wearing the Arcane Armor. And the reason I have the Arcane Armor is because I've been doing some pretty powerful magic. So one of the things that was added recently was a upgrade to Ars Nevu, which is Ars Omega. Uh, oh, that's Ars Elemental. Okay, so if I go into Ars, obviously we have all these, all the glyphs. But then some of them, the more powerful ones, I might say. Oh, wait, no, this is also Ars Omega, uh, Ars Nevu. Well, there is some stuff from Ars Omega, which is an add-on to Ars Nevu, which adds the more powerful things. Like, look at all of these. A boost to the Amplify Glyph. There's two different glyph of amplifiers. <laughs> like, the advanced amplify glyph is one of the things I want to go for. But it is a bit pricey. Nine infused diamonds, a netherite pickaxe, a source gem, and a block of emerald. When I say it's pricey, I mean 
mainly the infused diamond. Because to make an infused diamond, I need a lot of source. I already have all of these other components. I am just lacking in the source. And potentially diamonds at this point, now that I think about it. I did spend a lot of my diamonds taking down Herobrine. And that, by that I mean summoning and taking down Herobrine. I thought today we'd do a few smaller spells. From added to tier 2, tier 3, maybe a tier 4 if it's not that costly. Oh, and yeah, I added a few more source jars, some different forms of source links. That is a volcanic one, which is why there's a little fire pit there. If I throw burnable objects in there, like wood, it will provide source to that, which would send it to that jar, and if that jar were to be filled up, it would probably go to that one, and to that one, or to that one. Let's just say I have a lot of source jars. Oh, and my spellbook is now a tier 4 spellbook. If you want to see what I needed to do to get that, I think it was just there. Yep. Arcane spellbook. Netherite block. Elytra, the tier 3 spellbook, demonic gems, and demonic crystal. And obviously some arc wood, but just arc wood, that's easy. Now, thankfully, oopsie, Oz Omega, with like these three, this one is a boss drop. That was not a fun boss to fight. <laughs> like, I, I will be straight up honest, that boss fight was absolutely painful. Although, getting these was easy. Kind of. I didn't have to go through the way of crafting the gem. If we go into the imbuement chamber, we can see demonic essence, arcane essence. And you might be thinking, well, how do you get the demonic essence? Yeah. <laughs> Thankfully, in the dimension where you can face the boss that gives you this crystal, well, you get this. Uh... I, you can actually find ore for the demonic gems. Which is exactly how I was able to do it. Because was I hell... <laughs> get it? Demon realm? Hell. Was I hell going to have to fi uh, try and fight that boss multiple times? I don't currently have an amethyst, but I can get an amethyst easily. It was... Prismarine... Oh, that is... I I mean, need PR. Prismarine Shard. I think it was an Emerald Block. Hold on. Enchanted Infused. Yep, an Emerald Block, a Blaze Rod, and Amethyst Shards. I don't have a Blaze Rod either, do I? Carabast. Well, I can get the main p I can get at least a couple parts of it. When you uh, might see those funny little green gems, they're called Gorgon gems. They're here as well. You can use them to make Gorgon stone, which is just green stone. You can use them to make the Tablet of Petrification, which is one I will potentially be looking into, hence why it's up here. Actually, let me just take that one out. I don't need that anymore. Ritual of Conjuring. Oh, so if I put one. Organ gem into the ritual of conjuring, I can get three. How can that work with diamonds, eh? <laughs> Diamond created using arcane alchemical processes. Physically, it is a perfect gem, but it cannot withstand strong magical energies and thus can't be used to craft many advanced magical items. Okay, but could it be used to craft other things? Let's just do this. Okay, yeah, so the alchemical diamond can be used to, as regular diamonds. Alright, that's pretty cool. That is really good information to have. Now I just need to know how to, you know, actually get these alchemical diamonds. I'll figure it out. Don't worry. That is something I will definitely figure out.
Uh, actually, I think I might need two emeralds for what I'm going to get from my happy little villagers. <laughs> oh, got some lag there. Okay, let's go to this one, which is a minor villager. Oh, I did not, I did not need to. Well, I'll get two anyway, just for the experience. It is always good to have extra experience on this server. Considering most of the things are done, well, t transportation anyway, is done via waystones. You might be wondering why I don't just, you know, just walk over the water anymore. See, I can't actually do that without the featherite. I got four diamonds. I need nine. So I'll save those for later, I suppose. So for now, oh, huh. I don't want too much lag being caused by these little bones. Little bony boys. Okay, let's see. Right click the table. Uh, tier one, I have completed. Tier two, I have not. Okay, uh, Accelerate. Increases the speed of a projectile spell. Actually, hold on, there's one I did want to... There was an upgrade I wanted to get. Let this is one. And, oh, wait, I already have the thing spell. Nice. Teleport the caster to a location. If the entity hit... If an entity is hit and the caster is holding a warp scroll in the offhand, the entity will be warped to the location on the warp scroll. When used on self, the caster blinks forward. Bell turrets and runes can warp entities using warp scrolls from adjacent inventories without consuming the spell. You can try it, skeleton. Okay, I need a stone cutter, a spike, and looks like a source relay. The other two shouldn't be too hard. Let's take a look at that source relay, shall we? Like I said, you can try it. Source Relay Splitter. Requires a regular Source Relay. Six gold. Uh, one... Uh, one Source Gem block. Then four Lapis, four Quartz. Oh, okay, that's not too bad. Guys, please. <laughs> okay. Well, I suppose we can just quickly grab those resources. And also, I have added this to my home. It is just a way for me to deal with any excess things. I just don't want blocking up the storage system. And I try to remember to... Take those out. Oh, right, I forgot they don't stack outside of the storage. So, obviously, in the storage system, it's not a problem. But like, if you had a bunch of bundles in your inventory, you literally couldn't do anything until you cleared them out. Which isn't too favorable. And plus, it does also take up a storage slot that I could be using for other things. Like storing magical items. Or resources from far off lands. Just those kinds of things. I need four lapis. One, two, three, four. Gold. Oh, okay, I have the gold. Nice. Uh, stone cutter is three stone and one piece of iron. The question is, do I have any actual stone in here? The answer to that is no. <laughs> okay, one, two, three. 
Oh, no, not four. Three. Thank you. <laughs> Let me head over to our little furnace. Can throw them in. Oh, actually, I also haven't shown you this. Now, inside the crafting grid is just the crafting grid. But this crafting table is actually called an ebony crafting table. Made from ebony wood. Which is actually a really, really nice wood. Uh, hold on, let me just... Just so I have them for quick crafting. Like, look at it. It's so cool. Like, <laughs> it's just a really cool wood. Uh, okay. All right, waiting for the stone to smelt in the furnace. What else did I need? Quartz. Quartz and an additional four lapis. Oh, wait, that was for the stone cutter was for the spell. I swear, my brain. Uh, <laughs> it does not think these things through sometimes. Okay. We've got the additional four lapis. Then, oh, <laughs> forgot to take out the L there for a second. And then the four quartz. And we'll quickly just go into here, throw in them four. It's essentially automated source gem making, which is very helpful when doing a lot of magic stuff. Having a way to just like throw a ton of lapis into the uh, top of the hopper and just take out a gem when you need it. Ooh, actually, <laughs> I just gave myself an idea. Always make sure this is stocked up in case I ever need source gems, which of course I will. Okay, come on. There we go. Okay, now that I have this, I can go and make the initial source relay. Followed by the source litter. Oh, no, that's the smithing table. Then we do this. Make the source relay. And then we head back into the magic room. Sorry about that. Oh, sneezed. <laughs> okay, then it does it require? No, it doesn't require source. Good. Good. Stupid uh, mouse double click sometimes. Okay. Then we don't right click the imbuement chamber. We just look slightly under it for the enchantment altar. Oh, rainbow magic. <laughs> now we have the splitter. It was the final thing I needed for the spell. Making a note, huge. It's so delicious and more. Mystery meat? What? What are they doing? <laughs> I, I am lit. I am actually rather confused as to what they are up to. <laughs> uh. Oh, okay. I do have some spare. Uh, some spare wild and spikes. I want to ask.
that they can say anything in response here. So if they do say something weird, that is not on me. I would just like to make that very clear. If they say anything weird, it is not on me. No, not the fish. <laughs> no, my fish. Oh, thank the stars. I saved the fish. Okay, yep. Ooh, actually. Let's see. Now. I now have the glyph of split. Or the split glyph. Which I can then go into my spell book. Uh, not long break. Not god ray. Actually, no, yes, god rays. God rays is the one I want. Uh, let's quickly just take out the amplifies real quick. Then we have put in some amplify threes. Because we want some bit stronger spells. Divine Spite. Ah, oh, Divine Smite can't be augmented. Carabast. Uh, at least I can put my sensitive back on it at least. Uh, I already have Amplify 3 on God Rays. I guess I did. Okay, now let's go see how much mana this drains from my little mana bar down there. Please don't be too much. Ooh, that is like my entire mana bar again. I really need to make more spells to bulk that up more. So I do want to quickly... Which spell could be augmented with? This moving bit. Ah, oh, that is never good. Burn can't be split. Eat can't be split. Transmute can't be split. Neither can dispel. Nor small. Nor, nor carve? Why can't carve? And neither can big. Uh, what about long break? Long break can't be. Why can none of the spells I currently have in be augmented by split? Alright, let's take out yeet. I never really use it anymore. So... Projectile. Uh... Not blink. Brambles. Bones, brambles, which I can cacti. No. Uh... God rays. Let's try regular lightning. Oh, right, yeah, I forgot the second page. <laughs> Please. Oh, come on! Ah, okay. Um... Can harm be open? It can't? This is... Please. Oh, but even Breeze can't be augmented with Split. Flare? Yeah, I, this, I know this is lying to me. Uh, let's try... Hmm. I don't really know... Poison flower, maybe? Yep. Knock back? Nope. Alright, let's just go through a spell till I can find one that can be all. Wait. Let's try split. Then God Rays. If this works. Oh. oh. Okay, so that's how you do it. You don't put the augmentation for split after the spell, you put it before the spell. Okay. <laughs> well, that's just going to be a clear spell for me to use at some point. Uh, God Rays. Where, oh, there goes Maya. Then, one, let's do Amplify 3 once. 
to try and save some mana. Oh. <laughs> I wonder if I added more amp uh, more splits if it would be better. Okay, let's do three splits. God rays, amplify three, and sensitive. Oh. <laughs> hey, that I am now a very happy Sith. Okay, uh, we gotta leave at least three. One for God Rays, one for Amplify, and one for Sensitive. <laughs> oh, they are not going to know what hit them. This is a very risky game. As with Icarus, it could literally be anything. Look at Dromia. What do you mean, look at Dromia? Uh, well, that's Destiny. That's the Ventus. So, Romeo's gone. It, it's gone. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was extremely unexpected. Unexpected. Is that right? Oh, Minecraft. There we go. Hmm. So that is entirely unexpected. I mean, I have no reason to conquer Duromia, so I'll just stick with the Celestial Void. I actually haven't shown you my favorite new little thing. Up here. Down here. I have Wither Roses. Now, you might be wondering why I have Wither Roses. It's, it's very simple, really. Herobrine can be damaged by Wither Roses. So, I spawn him in that little gap there where the block is. He shoots up, lands back down in the block. I place dirt on top of him. Just stand by a Wither Rose and slowly chips him to <laughs> oblivion which is perfectly fine for what I need. Also, now that I have the split spell, <laughs> all I need to do is get the final amplify. Uh, that one. That one. All I need now is that. And I will be unstoppable. <laughs> Which I will actually work on after the stream. I'm also just going to take those out because I don't need them. Oh, this is another one. The Glyph of Life. You create a link between your life force and the targets. Any damage dealt to you will be shared with the target. And any healing of the target will be shared. Now, you may have heard me talking about Hype. Hype I read a bit. He's getting a bit too powerful, same as Icarus. So with that spell, I can link myself to them. So if they were to kill me, they would just be... It's a double-edged blade. They take me out, they take themselves out. <laughs> it's a good system, and it works rather well. Oh, and I also just wanted to add, don't worry about the child. That was from Maya. Yeah, she told me to put the child on my shoulder, like, yeah, why not?
Oh, right. Uh, option. Cat setting. Text size. Opacity. Right. Anyways, guys, that's where I'm going to call it there. If you did enjoy, please check out my YouTube channel. Just put in a link here. There's all the previous content from Unremarkables, Slime Rancher, which is only two episodes, but that's because like Sub uh, Subnautica, my laptop doesn't really like it. Hence why I'm back here on Unremarkables today. Or if you want a place where you can get up-to-date stream notifications, or just a place to talk to me, feel free to join my Discord if you're a nice person. You will be welcome there. And if you did enjoy, please consider liking, and obviously subscribing or following over on my other socials. It does mean a lot, and it helps me make more content for you in the future. And as always, Darth Celestian, signing out.